Hi, and welcome to episode 58 <laughs> of Two Crafty Stitches. Today is May 28th, also Memorial Day. Yes. So happy Memorial Day. <laughs> I am Sandy, also known as Nits and Bits. And I'm Kelly, also known as Pearly Girl 75. And this is Lucy. She just got a haircut. And she won't stop licking me. Yes. I don't have any lotion on. I, I don't know. I have lotion on, so she keeps licking me yeah. on my arms. But, but anyways. Anyway. So, knitting. We did not talk about this, even though I asked. I know. I was like, don't we do be? it the same way? Yeah. We usually start with so, our new objects. New items. What do you have new? I don't know if you have anything new. I do have a few new things. Um, I have a crinkly bag. <laughs> because, of course you have you a know, crinkly bag. Why not? Why not be? Yes. I bought some yarn at the Joanne Fabrics the other week or so ago. And with it me? Is, no. This was... Not with Hold you. on, didn't I? Go I showed with you? this. We went the next day. Oh, oh, that's I went to right. Joanne Fabrics two days in a row with two different friends. So I went with Mike first and I bought yarn. And then the very next day, I went with Sandy and I showed her what yarn I bought in the store, but I didn't buy any. And that's make any right. You didn't buy that anything day. that I know, day. Because I had just been there the day before. Um, so this is the Lion Brand Cupcake, which is. Um, something. Oh, it's 100% acrylic. It's 590 yards and it was like, I think eight bucks. And then I had a coupon. So this one is the forest path colorway. Looks kind of washed out. It's our color issues from last time, but whatever. No, I don't know. Anyway. And this one is moody blue. That looks right. Yeah. Except for the green. The green doesn't look as bright, but that's okay. I, um, I was gonna say my shirt doesn't look as bright, but anyway. Mine blue. looks just as black. Well, yeah. Um, so I have that. And then I also made a purchase. Um, so I'm doing this little, my spindle project that's been ongoing for a little while. Yeah. Um, where I've decided just to leave things on the spindles, like until I'm done spinning all of the yarn, just cause whatever I have enough just about. And so I had to pick, I didn't have to, but I picked up another one because, and here's, here's why I'll tell you why, because I like the turtle made spindles. They're like my favorite spindles ever. Uh huh. And well, not ever, but I mean, my, some of my favorite spindles are the turtle made spindles and, um, you can get them on Etsy and they're 3d printed. And this is my favorite size. It's not, it's a lot brighter in person, but anyway, this is my favorite size. Um, and it is the mini spindle size. Mm -hmm. And when I first got a couple of these, they had this type of center, which I really like cause you can get a nice grip on it. It's got a little indention up there, whatever. Yeah. Um, and she was doing these for a while and it's a molded, it's not the printed. So the center is a molded plastic. And I really liked that. In fact, like I have the, for, well, I'll show you, even though it's one of my works in progress, but you know, we're talking about it now. So, <laughs> so anyway, so this is one of the first ones that I got in this size and it has like, this is a 3d printed of the same center, but I really like the grip on the center. This one just had a flat bottom, whereas now she makes it so you can use it as a supported spindle because it's got a little pointed bottom. But anyway, so then a little while later, look, I'll just show all of them now. A little while later, I got one that she had already done and it was with the molded. And I was like, okay, cool. I really like the center. Um, cause I, you know, again, I like the size and the shape and whatever. And then I ordered some more and she switched over the centers and she switched them to a 3d printed with the same little bottom, but the top of them is like really tapered mm -hmm. and it does have the little like notch in it kind of, or like indentation, but I find I don't get as much of a grip on it when I'm spinning it. And so, um, and I have like three of these cause I have a red and black one and I have a yeah. blue and yellow. Yes. A blue and yellow one. And I have this one. Um, and they're only like 15 bucks or something. They're really inexpensive for a spindle and they're really nice for travel. But anyway, so she started, I don't know when, but when I was looking on her website, <laughs> she, she apparently makes the molded centers again. So I was like, I want another molded center one. So I picked out this really bright, obnoxious, shiny orange color. And yes. then you just, I just told her pick whatever color for the center. So she did orange in the center also. Um, and then when I was, since I ordered something from her, I also ordered um, a size I had not seen before. Now I have, I'm, I'm giving y'all a spindle lesson right now. <laughs> I have a couple, I have two of these that are her standard size Turkish spindles. And it's all 3D printed, whatever. I actually have like three shafts. Mm -hmm. I have like two, two of the bases and I have like three shafts because I have an extra shaft just in case because I have broken a shaft before. Um, but she had um, this midi size, which is a size I had not seen before. And so I had to get one of those too. Huh. Um, so look, 
She makes an, she makes a little micro size too, which if I dug around, I think I have a micro size I one, but I'm not sure. Too. I think I do, but it's like buried somewhere. Anyway, so we have the, look, we have the, the mini, the midi, and the standard. So you I like to use the it micro or ma macro. Yeah, well, I don't yeah. know, but it's the standard. So it's all M's. She also has like a nano and she has one that's a femto. I don't know. She yeah. has different names for them or whatever. But this one was a midi and I had never seen this size before. And I thought this copper color was really cool. It is fun. Yeah. Um, and then I picked like a frosty blue for this center. So I thought I'd try that out because I like to spin my singles on the this one. And I like to, if I do my, because I usually will chain ply at that point. I like to chain ply them on the larger mm -hmm. ones. But I thought this would be a nice size to have as well. So those are my purchases. Well, I guess I'll go back in time, backwards. So the most back recent purchase yeah. <laughs> was with you, so you've already seen it. Yes. And it's also the cupcake yarn. See? You are the one who bought the cupcake I did. Yarn. I did not. I thought you did, too. I had already bought and one. it's the before. Tundra color. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's pretty much those colors, all muted. Yes. It, it makes me happy. It's all, like, <laughs> shades of, like, grayish with blues and greens. It's got a little bit of a tan in there, too. Yeah, a little bit of yeah, a tan right pretty. there. pretty. A little brownish gray. So, um, and then, I forget which day it was, but I had to travel across the state. <laughs> and here's my crinkly bag. Oh, oh so um, your bag I, is more crinkly than mine. There's a knot. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So, I went to um, the Nitty Gritty. Okay. So I think I put a card in here. I did. Ah. The nitty gritty. And nitty -gritty. that is over in Vero Beach. It's like this. This is what it looks Whoa. like the card was doing. I know. <laughs> so there, I think that worked. That's a cute little logo. It is. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> the entire place I think you'd love because it's Cause it was pink? bright pink. <sighs> so <laughs> I got one of their bags. It is, oh. Here's when I went to go there. My receipt. <laughs> May 15th. Okay. So, um, they like had... two weeks ago. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They had this bag that was specially made for them. Mm hmm And super pink. Doesn't look very pink in the camera. No, but, but it's it very, very pink. It's very pink. <laughs> um, and it was handcrafted by So Southern Sisters. It's the nitty gritty tote, mm -hmm. and they also had another tote that was a little bit smaller. Um, I think it was white with pink lettering. Oh, okay. But we all know, if you know me, white items and myself get dirty very well, quickly. Not only that, but you have dogs that have dark. Fur. I have lots of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they have muddy paws. Yes. So then, while I was there, yeah. I was in between two yarns. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I I have more than two yards. Yes. I but I'm like, I'm only going to buy one. I'm only going to buy one. So, um, I didn't buy one. So, they're both ancient art yarn yarns. Okay. Um, the first one is Socknado. <laughs> well, I guess they're both Socknados. It's Impressionist. Okay. And oh, yeah. I just really love the color. It reminds me of Starry Starry Night. Well, yes, that would be in. I know. Painting and stuff. Yeah. I know. So that's why I'm like, I have to have it. <laughs> and this other one is called Eiffel Tower. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't see Eiffel Tower in I it. I don't but, either. But but I really like the colors. I really like like the dark little blues. Yeah. And even the little bit of browns. Whoa. Well, Rude something at my dog. I did. And then <laughs> they talked me into getting a mountain colors okay. yarn. You know that I have a love-hate relationship with Mountain Colors. Yes. It was the first sock yarn that I bought at a sock. No. At what? a yarn store. At the yarn store, yeah. Was it at the yarn store? Probably. I yeah, know, it maybe. was. It was. Mm -hmm. And I knit socks with it. And then I got a hole in the top of the sock. Not where any of the shoe part goes. So yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> but I had to get this because it is made specially for the store. Mm-hmm. Um, by Mountain Colors. It's called Hibiscus City because apparently Vero Beach is known as a hibiscus, hibiscus city. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't there you know. Go. Fun fact of the day. Yeah. And, and it's, it's lots of pinks. Yes. It's a little bit brighter than this, of course. Yeah. But yeah. I thought it'd be fun. I'm like, this is way outside of my wheelhouse. 
It looks kind of like, um, I haven't seen a Mountain Colors skein in a very long time, but it even looks like they have a different base. They do. Yeah, I was going to say. It's not the, the same base, so that's why I was base. like, you know what, I'll try it out. Because their old base used to be have like a halo. Too. Yeah, it was furry. Mm -hmm. So, But that was like 10, 12, 12 years, years ago. ago. <laughs> yeah, this is called Twizzle, <laughs> Twizzle Foot. Okay. And it is five, 450 yards. Mm -hmm. So... I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. And then Knit. these two are it. 385 yards. Okay. I really like this one. <laughs> so. Yes. And then they talked me into that one. I'm like, oh. I'm like, well, <laughs> well, I can only get one of these. Which one? Yeah. They're like, I don't know. But, no, they were really nice. Very helpful. Um, yeah, very sweet. I'd like to go back there again. I just want to go back to all the places again. <laughs> With a lot more money. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. So that is my new items. Okay. I guess, what other works in progress do you have? Do you have your spinning? Well, I do. I have I have a spinning project that's downstairs on the wheel that I just started last night. But yeah. I'll talk about it. It's okay. some Moon Rover, like, 2015 club yarn. I think it's a June it's only color. Three years old. Yeah, I think it's um I think it's the June color. I think it's June. Um it's got lots of like whites and grays, but it also has like a fluorescent orange and a fluorescent pink. Uh -huh. So I split it um in half. I split the the braid in half and I'm spinning um and then I did it in like other you know, split it up some more. And, um, yeah. so I'm doing it like one way I'm going to do like two bobbins. So I'm going to do a two ply because I'm tired of not getting enough yardage and I'm going to do a two ply. And of course, so it's spinning like super thin. Um, <laughs> so you're going to have so much yardage. Uh -huh. yeah. And so I'm doing one kind of like the, I, I don't want to say the cheater fractal, but it's a different way of doing a fractal where you spin one bobbin with it in one direction and the other one with the fiber going the other direction and then when you put it together it kind of barber pulls and stuff uh -huh. so we'll see how it looks it'll be very interesting I have a feeling that the oranges and the pinks are going to go like right together and it'll be amazing um the dog thinks so too she's all Oof. <laughs> but anyway the whites and the grays yes with the whites and the whites and the grays will probably all just like mix with each other and that's <laughs> just the way it's gonna go and there's a little bit of like a very 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 subtle mint green in there mm -hmm. i don't know it's and a little bit of a brown so oh, it's a, pretty. yeah it's a weird weird color way i think but i mean it's pretty so so anyway back to what um what i was talking about before with my spindles now i'll talk about what's on them so this is the project i was working on last time um that is i think it's new new noku new noko something fiber i don't know um, that I bought and it's like a gradient where, you know, and it's like the jewel tones of the rainbow. So I have like two colors on this one. You can barely see the other color inside. And then I have the next two colors on this one, which is like the purples. And then I have the next two colors on this one. Actually, I only got like half of this one because I was having issues with this whole uh -huh. center thing. So I still have like the other half of this yellow to do. Um, but when I, but I'm done, I'm like halfway done with the spinning now over halfway because like it's 10 colors and this is two, four, five and a half. So anyway, um, <laughs> not six minus a half, five, five a and half. a half colors that I've done because I still have to finish the yellow on the next spindle. Yes. Um, are you going to use your bigger one for that? I don't what, seeing that you could have the half of the yellow and then the other two colors. Maybe, I, maybe I'll try that on the midi. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll try out the midi with that one. I don't know. Cause it doesn't really need to travel with me because I'll probably be working on it this week when I'm home. So, um, so I have that going and then, Oh, and then I have the never ending knit project. I don't know why I let you talk me into making a boom shawl out of this, but I was working on this. I went to knitting at Barnes and Noble the other night. Hold on, wait, I didn't talk you into it. You're like, that's awesome. I'm going to make one too. I was like, I don't know what to do with this. You're like, you should make a boom shawl. <laughs> <laughs> so I was working on this at Barnes & Noble when you, you weren't there. But yeah. anyway, so I was working on this at Barnes & Noble at knitting the other night because I figured um, it was the one chance I would have possibly this whole summer to go. So I went and I was there for at least three hours and I swear that the yarn thing did not get any smaller. And I, and that's all I worked on. And I worked on it last night. Let me just tell you, I was watching TV, which we'll get into later, catching up on stuff. And I worked on it for 
excuse me, an hour and a half. Yeah. So anyway, never ending boom shawl. That has gotten so much bigger. Well, it look this, yes, this has gotten bigger. I, I will give you that. This has gotten bigger. Look, it's like a moving thing here. So yes, this has gotten bigger. However, look at how much I still have left. <laughs> look at how much yarn I still have left of this thing. You know what? I kind of think that this happened to me too. When I was like, oh my God, I can't get out of this color. I feel like I've been knitting it for like weeks, months. Well, and not only that, but I think the problem is it's not my typical colors of brightness either. It's very muted. It's very like, I can only work on it when I'm either having a conversation with people at Barnes and Noble or like when I'm watching something on TV that I don't really have to pay attention to. I'm honestly thinking this is what this where my thought was last me. night. Yeah. This is where my thought was last night. Finishing up this gray color, maybe doing the next color and then ending it. But then I don't know what to do with all this extra yarn. And you should colors. just do it all. It's going to be like the largest shawl thing ever. <laughs> it will. Um, <laughs> hey, you were wanting something like large, like the find your fade. No. Well, yeah, but that's different. That I was going to do that. And, I want to do that. And, like, I want to do that. And like, it's brioche and it's pretty colors and whatever. And my colors and stuff. But this is, then again, this is the Caron Big Cakes, which is 603 yards. So, yeah. Um, oh, and then I'll show this too while I'm talking about stuff. Because I did, I played a little bit before Sandy came over. Um, while I was waiting for my dog to be done at the groomer. So I finally pulled out my little mini spinner and I put it on a book. And no, this is, I, I know it's a library book, but I bought it at the library book <laughs> sale. So it's not like I'm like, oh, let me borrow a library book to attach to my spinner. No, it's it's a Laura Lippman book. I just finished reading it a couple weeks ago. Anyway, at work. But I bought it for $1.50, as the price tag says. <laughs> And every time I left the library, like they, it was still sensitized. So I left the library and went back in like two or three times and it went off really obnoxiously. And they're like, oh, that's okay. It's, we know you bought that. And I'm like, can you not desensitize it so that this doesn't happen? But they wouldn't. So it was whatever. Anyway, so I started spinning a little bit on this in my giant, my giant library book. Um, anyway, let me see if I can find the camera. This is really hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It, look at how like horrible like the color looks on that. Anyway, it's not it's it's a pretty anyway. See, so it's pretty. So when I um when I ordered my my spindles from Turtle Made, she sent me um a sample of this fiber, which is I mean feel how soft it is I know, too. It's, it's like a twenty one point five micron merino uh -huh. is what it said on the tag. It's way over there, and I'm not gonna go get it. But anyway, so I have um it's maybe an ounce. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's a little bit more over there. And so I figured I would just spin it on here, but look how nice it's spinning. It is. And it's not that loud. Like it is kind of loud. Like oh. I think if I were watching TV while I was using this, it would like annoy me, oh. but it's not like horribly loud for a little motor, but you know, it's and and it, and it goes pretty fast. And I, um, I started it, I put a leader on it. I started it. Um, I mean, I was up and spinning and like, it was this morning in like three minutes because I started it, I turned it on. Um, got the speed I wanted. And then you just like, cause it's just a little manual control on the side. Mm -hmm. Um, but I did have to, but it wasn't, it didn't have any uptake. So I had to, um, adjust the little band yeah. for the uptake. And I adjusted that like, I think twice. And then, you know, the, th the, after the second time adjusting it, it was perfectly fine. So awesome. Yeah. So I actually have started to use this little thing today, today. Because I was like, oh no, we're recording. And last time we recorded like what, three weeks ago or whatever. I was like, oh, I haven't, I just, I got this in the mail like a month ago and I haven't started it. And I'll, well, I'll, done by next time. I'll try it by next time. So I tried it this morning. So, so, you know, my opinion on it yeah. is very recent and fresh. So I don't have a lot of works in progress. Uh huh. <laughs> and the one that I have, I'm like mid row. Okay. So it is my Hearn cardigan mm -hmm. and it is in the nitpicks uh book which i didn't bring with me okay but i do have it on here but i was busy knitting and not prepared oh because you know that's how i go yeah why not so it is from the twist and tweed 2015 fall collection mm -hmm. and you can look on ravelry for it i'll give you a link and it is cables galore like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, so many uh -huh. cables. Yes. Um, I'm right now having a love-hate relationship with it. Aww. So I love working on it. Mm -hmm. I have a good bit done. 
It's a I little had, more purple in person. It is. I had like three. If we more were still tight, if we were still titling our, because we, I gave it's up a on titling. It's a little more purple. Well, no, I mean, if it, if, I'd be like, you know, colors are not what they appear, or something would be our title if we were still titling our episodes. But so yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, I had her about three inches. Oh no! Plus the other night, because mm -hmm. I was knitting along, and then I got to the point where I was done with like the decreases and it was going to go in the increases and the next line said at the same time no, oh, no. increases I'm like what <laughs> so I uh, had to get back down here so mm -hmm. I will have little pockets which let's try not to yeah don't lose don't mess it up so that's like the front of the pocket yeah there's the inside of the pocket I'm just a few rows in mm -hmm. so oh um, actually, when you were, uh, in the other room before we started, yeah, I was, oh, this is all sorts of twisted now. Um, my working part that I had to put off on the side so I can, uh, have the pocket band. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I didn't realize how crappy these stitch holders really, really are. No, no. Because it just opened on itself and half of them just oh, no. got released. Hmm. So, I was able to pick it up while you were away. Well, that's good. And hopefully I can find something else to put it on. Maybe just some string. Yeah. Because otherwise, I will not be a happy camper. I was going to say, I think I normally, if I have to put stitches on something, if I'm not, if it's just for a few minutes where I have to put it, and then I go right back up to, you know, like when I've done the little toys and stuff, yeah. I usually just take like some smooth sock yarn or you know something like that and just stick it on there and that way I can like put the stitches on there and I tie the string yep. in a knot so it won't come off <laughs> see that's how I normally mm -hmm. would do it but these were actually in the little thing that I had near me yeah all my notions and there wasn't any yarn ah. so I'm like I'll yes. use this yep so I'm not very happy with it yeah well but that's three inches of my life of me knitting during the hockey games well Anyway, it was a good part of the hockey game. <laughs> um, so I have an upcoming project that I'm going to cast on here uh -huh. shortly. And it is a t-shirt, the Gemini t-shirt with my remix light that I talked about a while ago. That's recycled fibers. Uh -huh. It is a green color. It doesn't really have a color name except 6991. Okay. But it's a nice little heather. I am excited. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I'll have that here in a bit. Yes. Um, well, I didn't bring any finished objects. I have a few, but they're all, they're all from my spinning because I went on a flying kick. Um, so this is some stuff that had been sitting on, like the singles have been sitting for at least a year, I would say, on a bobbin. <laughs> a year? Maybe. Well, I, what? I don't know. Anyway, because I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Because this is this is some more of that new Noku stuff. But it was one of those that's like when you showed a couple weeks ago yeah. when you got your fiber box and it was like the fiber that all the colors are like blended together in the whatever. Um, so I attempted for the first time to spin from the fold the videos I just the video clips I just sent her that I told her I'd send her last time we were talking three weeks ago um on our yeah I just sent it to her today hey you know what it's recent it's fresh it's yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey I wouldn't have spun it right within the last three so weeks. I was attempting it and so it was very very thick and thin and I didn't know what I, and it was sitting around forever because I didn't know how I was what I was going to apply it with I thought well maybe I when I bought it I actually bought this this at the same time as I bought this stuff. Uh huh. And so it was like two little things. I think they were each like two ounces or something. I don't know. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just spin the one with multiple colors and then I'll like spin the other one and I'll apply them together. But then I've changed my mind on that. And so, um, what, because of how this came out so thick and thin and just whatever. Um, cause I never spun from the fold before and I was, you know, and you, there's a technique where you can keep, and some of the colors stayed together more. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see it. But anyway, so anyway, I, I just was tired of having it sit on a bobbin forever. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to chain ply it. And I know, I know I'm not going to get a lot of yardage and I don't really care because whatever it is what it is. And so it's like 66 yards. <laughs> it's really, really bulky. So I don't know. It'll, maybe it'll be something, maybe not. Maybe it'll just sit around forever. Um, 
This is uh, some nest, um, when I was in the nest fiber club, and it's in the Callisti colorway. And this is 142 yards of chain plied stuff that, yeah. Um, it kind of, the colorway reminds me of years ago, I had, um, there was a, a socks that rock color that was like very, very similar to this and had like the pops of the green and everything. Oh, and it was the yeah, frog something or another. And I made a pair of socks out of it. And I also made a hat out of it, out of like the really thick stuff. Anyway. Was that after your green sock curse ended? Um, I don't know. It might've been around the time of that. Anyway, I did feather and fan socks with, with them. But anyway, so there's that one. And then this one is um, created by LCB and it is the gumdrops colorway. Uh, Ramboulet nylon that I was spinning recently. <laughs> so it did not sit around for like a year on a bobbin. And then I plied it. And this one I got 252 yards of a chain ply. Yay. So that's better. I guess. It is. I don't know. I just go on like Instagram and people are like, look, I chain plied this and have like 7,000 yards from like four <laughs> ounces. And they're like, 7, I have like 7,000 yards and it's like sock weight, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's for like three and a half ounces of fiber. And I've made like, you know, whatever. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. You kill me. <laughs> I think I'm going to get really good yardage. I'm going to chain ply this stuff too, but I think we need really good yardage just because it's spinning up really thin. Uh -huh. Cause I spin a lot thinner and more consistent on a spindle. Than I so do, do I. So. Yes. Like my, my spindle spinning is probably as thin as you spin on your wheel because your spindle spinning is a lot thinner than mine. I know because if I try I to ply my spindle on a wheel, it breaks. Yeah. Well, like I was going to say, I think that my spindle spinning is about your, the lightest that you spin on your wheel because you're, yeah. And whereas, yeah, my wheel spinning is not as thin except for what I'm doing right now on the little thing. We'll see. Well, we'll see how that, and this, this little thing over here too, was pretty thin too. So we'll see. This Funny. little thing, meaning your little e spinner. E -spinner. Yes. Your... The little thing. Yeah. I forget the official name. The electric eel wheel eel. mini. There we go. Yes. From dream, dreaming robots from the Kickstarter, Kickstarter, which, which he has sent out all of his Kickstarter. Everyone who was in the Kickstarter, he's sent out the wheels to everyone. Mm -hmm. And so I think they're going to be available on his website starting in July, maybe mm -hmm. sometime this summer, you'll be able to like purchase your own, but he also makes different sizes too. He makes like a standard size one as well, which is like, I think maybe $200 or something. So, okay. Yeah. What's well, cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I did finish a square for one of my blankets, but I didn't bring that. Okay. Cause that's really boring right now. Cause it's a square. Yeah, it's just a square. It's another square. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a huge amount. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it that I've uh, been knitting wise. Yep. So, um, I guess this goes on to the non knitting part. Yes. Which I have not read anything, but I have been listening to an audiobook, mm -hmm. which. I am going to completely butcher the name of it. Okay. Because it's so long. And let's just hope it doesn't start playing so that way I can That'd pull be really it up. Funny. Because it always happens. <laughs> Cryptonomicon. Yes! I okay. did it! <laughs> and I can't see who actually wrote it because it's kind of covered by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. It's a really, really long book. It's actually really interesting. The setup of it can get a little confusing if you're not paying attention because it'll go from like modern time to like history. Mm -hmm. And the history is like World War II era and using like crypto uh, like deciphers to send messages. Okay. And then they're setting up a new project. Um, I guess it's like the heirs of the people that were doing it in the history um, to do. I, I don't know exactly what they're doing because we're about to that point. It sounds really good. But they're doing like this huge <laughs> thing and it's over in like They're doing the some cryptic thing. It is. That I don't know what it is. It's like sending messages <laughs> type stuff. Yeah. And they're like niching out that little corner of the whole crypto ciphering messages. Okay. It's been very good so far. Yeah. 
I've enjoyed it. <laughs> so what about you? Um, well, let's see. I started a book, but then I didn't finish it at the end of the school year. So I don't know if well, I don't, I wasn't really enjoying it. And I honestly think I've read it before. Um, <laughs> maybe that's why I wasn't enjoying it because I was like, this seems really familiar, but it was, um, another, um, not the Laura Lippman book I showed earlier, but it was a different Laura Lippman book. Um, that's over there. Oh, the most dangerous thing. Um, and I, it on the floor. Oh, um, so I started it. She towards has a the, lot of books. Over I there. do. So I started, um, I started it and I was like, this seems really familiar. And I, I I've read almost all of Laura Lippman's books. And uh -huh. so when I find one, I'm like, Oh, I haven't read this one. Or maybe I did read it and I forgot. So I think that's what it was, but it was another one. I, it's another library edition that I bought in the book sale for like a dollar 50. So whatever. Um, so that's about it for me for reading. Um, but I'm on summer break and I don't read as much during the summer. Um, and then I go back to work summer school next week, but even summer school, there's not a lot of downtime Yeah, because I'm working with elementary school children. So there probably won't be any, and it's only like five hours a day or something like that with them. So, um, but yesterday when I was knitting forever for an hour and a half on this <laughs> boom shawl, I was watching the season, John and I were watching the season two finale of Timeless. And I know you're not there yet, so I will not say anything about it, but I finished season two, but season two only had like nine episodes. I'm still in season one. I know, but I'm just telling you. Season two only has like nine episodes, but the last episode is like two episodes in one. So it was like an hour and a half. Um, but anyway, so I finished season two of that and um, I started the episode one of season two of Westworld. Oh, yesterday. I did start Westworld. Did I start that yesterday or the day before? So I watched episode one of season two. Yeah, I have. I've I, I have like one or two. Yeah, I have episodes. like, well, an episode one was over an hour. It was like an hour something. It was yeah. like an hour 15 or some, almost an hour 20. Um, so I watched that, but um, that's a, I think that's about it. Cause like Survivor is over like the rest of it. So I have like a list in my phone of shows I need to watch like seasons and stuff. Cause like Riverdale season two is on Netflix now, which is good. My DVR, like, yeah glitched out and lost everything that we recorded from like February 7th until just the other day. Um, Did you get a new one? No, oh. no. Um, we, cause we, it like froze and we had to reboot it when we rebooted it. Like everything was gone after February 6th. How old is your, it's not that It's old. a couple of years old. Oh. Um, so I don't know, but I, um, yeah. So, <laughs> so we had that little problem. Um, but it didn't really affect my stuff. The only thing it really affected was like timeless, which we can watch on Hulu. So we ended up watching season two on Hulu because we hadn't watched, we'd watched like two episodes. Yeah. And so the mo the majority of the stuff that got deleted is John's shows, <laughs> but he has like whole seasons of shows that he hasn't watched. Like, Oh, like this whole season of MacGyver was on there. Um, and I He's think like, no. Supergirl, but he still has like, season one is still, or whatever the most recent season, the season that's happening now is pretty much gone, but yeah. like the season before that is still in the DVR. So we had, it was like 78% full and now it's like 39% full. So more, and, <laughs> and the important, the stuff that I had in there, like there, I still have like a few things like theater related that were from a while ago. Um, those are all still there. So it was mostly John's shows. It was like the flash and like black lightning and Supergirl. <laughs> all went away after February 6th. <laughs> oh, and, and I did, um, I did lose episode one of the little women mini series, but that was on demand. So I just watched it because it was only an hour and I need to sit down and watch the other, the, it was a two parter. So I need to watch part two, which is in the DVR. Cause it was just like, for, I had to set it up <laughs> to record again though, because it was a new item oh, no. and all the things to record that were like new. Are, we're not there anymore either. So I just, I set that up to record that and I just need to sit down and watch it. It had Angela Lansbury in it. That's what you were saying. Yes. Um, so I am, I don't know how many episodes into the second season of The Handmaid's yeah, Tale. Yeah, I have not, and it's The Handmaid's okay, Tale, whatever. but okay. I have not started the season, so. Yeah. Um, I've been keeping you up to date. You have. But <laughs> did I tell you, because I'll, oh, I watch this stuff when I'm at the gym. And I was watching one of the Hobbit movies. Mm -hmm. You was, told me you were watching a Hobbit movie. Yeah, it was the second one. Okay. I I don't remember something about smog. I, I don't remember the name. But so, because I only have a certain amount on the treadmill, so I have to, like, put it out over multiple days. Right. 
and I got to like the last 20 minutes. And so I watched it the day before and had 20 minutes left and I was going to watch it. I went and it wasn't on uh, demand anymore. Oh no. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. Oh and no. And it has been killing me. Hmm. So <laughs> luckily, you know, I had that episode, The Handmaid's Tale. Uh-huh. <laughs> to watch instead. Yeah, but, but I, I'm still really sad. I need to find it uh, streaming somewhere. Yeah. So I can finish the last 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what else have... I think that's all that I've uh, been watching so far. Hmm. Well, I went to go see Waitress. I'm wearing my new Waitress shirt because I had to buy a new one. Um, at the Strass Center. It was my last show from this, this season. And um, I enjoyed it. I saw it in New York, too. And I enjoyed it just as much on tour with the tour group. I would say if it comes to your town, go see it. Well, I'll put a caveat on that. If you have young children, don't take your young children to see it because it is a slightly adult show. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, so I mentioned earlier that I am working summer school yes. in elementary school. And also I have some other thing that I'm doing this summer that starts tomorrow night. Um, so I had talked about before how I had been at the musical Legally Blonde <laughs> recently, like. In April, yes, mm -hmm. it was in April, um, playing the mother of Elle Woods and a judge. And <laughs> so they... Um, and a customer. Yes. At the hair salon. Yes, a customer at the hair salon who looked very much like the judge. Um, yeah, I wonder yeah, why. I don't know. So um, judges need to get their hair done too. Yep. Um, <laughs> right before they go into court in the very next scene. So, um, anyway, so I decided to go out for the next show with the new Tampa players and the show is Annie. And so I am playing Miss Hannigan Yay! in Annie this summer and I start rehearsals tomorrow. So I'm very excited. Um, it doesn't sound like I'm really excited, but I haven't started rehearsals yet. And people are like, how's it going? I'm like, I don't know. Cause I found out about it like two weeks ago. Like there's a two week break between, between, and this one, there was like two week break between auditions and, uh, you know, finding out. And then like two weeks later, we finally get to start rehearsals. So I guess they were waiting till school was out because school was out Friday. And well, then of course have, today's like, Memorial little... day. And yes. yes. Well, yeah, yeah. Like elementary school age children. Um, yeah. Little. So, well, yeah. well, I was looking, I was thinking <laughs> that the girl that plays Annie, um, is probably almost my height, but whatever. She's not that much tall. She's not that much shorter than me. I don't think, but I don't know. I didn't stand up next to her, but we sat next to each other in the audition room. Um, and I remember thinking, not that she's tall, but thinking, oh, so that's what like a 10 or 11 year old size is. Okay. <laughs> I know the woman, the, the person playing Grace is taller than I am. So we'll see. I don't know who that is. She's da uh, Warbucks' secretary, if you've seen the movie. But anyway, um, it's been a while, it, I'm sure. It's been a really long time. So, and the movie is very, very different from the musical. So, like, different songs, different plot points, different time of year. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the musical ends at Christmas, and the movie ends at 4th of July. So, oh. yeah, cool. Um anyway, but the musical was around first. So, but as a child, I was a big Annie person because when the movie came out, I was like seven and we saw it in the movie theater and all of my toys from that time in my life, not all of them. I mean, it had like Barbies and other normal toys too, but like normal, toys. like strawberry shortcake or whatever was around at that point. I don't know. 1982. And, um, that was the year I was born. Yeah. And I had like these little Annie dolls. I think I still have them. In fact, I'm going to this week. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out. Cause I have like a lot of my childhood toys in that closet there. And I have like my, um, I have my bin of Barbies and I think my Annie dolls are in there. And I think it's gonna be really funny to like pull them out because I'm in Annie now. Cause I have like, I had like two of the Annie dolls. I didn't have any of the other ones. Cause I was looking online. Cause I was like, I wonder, if, you know, whatever yeah. people still like on eBay or whatever. And they had a Miss Hannigan doll. Um, but I didn't have, cause you know, the dream when I was a child was to be Annie in Annie, the musical. Um, but I can't do that now cause I'm a little old for that, but <laughs> <laughs> well, not the right height. I know. So, um, anyway, 
So I had like little Annie dolls. I had like little Annie, like they had these little miniature figures of Annie and everything. Uh -huh. um, I think in my jewelry box, and I'll have to check this too, but I believe I still have my locket, my Annie locket. Because I had like a fake plastic one, but I also had like a metal, like the gold locket. Uh -huh. that was, you know, um, my mother made me an Annie dress for Halloween that year, like bought the pattern, bought the pattern and used the pattern, the McCall's pattern to make me an Annie dress. And we went out and bought the official Annie wig and I took a stuffed dog with me. And oh yeah, I was a big, big, big into Annie until um, 1983 when Return of the Jedi came out because I, and I know this because I have a scrapbook in my closet too. I have a scrapbook like that the first half of it is anything I could find that had Annie on it. like boxes of cereal, like anything. I cut out Annie things and glued it down in this scrapbook, right? And so the first half of it's all Annie and the, the middle of it is like a few things about the Winter Olympics figure skaters like Katarina Vitt and all that. And then the second half of it is all like Star Wars stuff. <laughs> you never yes. told me that before. I never told you what? About your scrapbook. Oh, it's in there. I'll have to pull. I'll pull it out next time you come over. Oh my gosh. I know That's exactly just... where it is too, but it's under, it's in a Rubbermaid tote under a bunch of other Rubbermaid totes that I'd have to like dig out. But if I want to get my little Annie dolls out, that's where they are too in that area. I didn't know people actually did that. Yes. People actually, <laughs> like, like, I think I have like a cereal box that I like cut out the pictures from and glued it in there. And it's like, and it's like a, an old fashioned scrapbook where like the pages are like construction paper. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> newspaper articles, magazine articles, all sorts of stuff. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't have the internet when I was a child. Well, we didn't have that when I was a child either. <laughs> but I didn't do any of that. I was passionate about the things I liked. I collected rocks and would See? bury them. I collected rocks too, but I had them in a big box. Like we had these, like for my dad's office, the paper, the boxes that paper, reams of paper come in. And I had like two boxes just full and they weren't like categorized. They were just like, oh, that's a pretty rock. Or, hey, that's a rock somewhere. And I just would throw them in these boxes and we moved them through like three or four moves, like across multiple states. And finally, I think, was it when we moved? It might've been when we moved from, it's either when we moved from Virginia to Maryland or from Maryland to Florida. And it might've been when we moved from Maryland to Florida. And my mom's like, what is in these boxes? And open, she's like, we have been moving boxes of rocks. Yes. And they weren't even like special rocks. They were like gravel. They were like, <laughs> like I move boxes of rocks all the time. But they weren't even like special collect. They were like, oh, look, I'm walking down the street. There's a chunk of concrete. It looks like a rock. <laughs> look, here's like a piece of gravel that's a triangle. Yeah. They were <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so how old were you when you got rid of your uh, gravel rocks? I, well, it, I don't know. It was either it was either when we moved to Maryland or when I don't remember if it was when we moved to Maryland or when we moved to Florida. I don't remember. So I was either like 13 or 20. <laughs> <laughs> that would also you kept them until you were 20. You're like, but, but those are my rocks. <laughs> And I think the that they were concrete. labeled on the outside rocks. So I don't know why it was such a surprise. So my mom would be like, we've actually been moving boxes of rocks. Well, yeah, <laughs> on this outside rocks, like two boxes of them. They weren't like, I didn't fill them all the way up to the top though. Like I only, they were only like a quarter full because they would get you heavy. So <laughs> my boxes of rocks are filled to the brim. Yeah. But yeah. So <laughs> Netflix told yes. me to watch a, a movie, by the way. Okay. Phantom of the Opera. Oh, really? Yes. No. So I watched that. Movie version. I, I'm yeah. not a big Phantom of the Opera fan. It was I've okay. seen the musical. Um, I saw it at the Kennedy Center like 30 years ago or whatever. I don't even know. Um, a long time when it when it was first touring a long time ago. Um, and it, it's all right. The movie version of it, no. <laughs> I but I will say like the movie version, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, is a lot better than Love Never Dies, which is one of my, the sequel to Phantom of the Opera, which is what I saw in um, one of my season tickets this year. I was about to say, I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Maybe if I didn't know, like, the plot line already, just mm. from it being around. Yeah. 
then it would have been a little bit better. One but of all our... I could think was, yeah, he is such a creeper, nobody's stopping him. <laughs> right. And she's just like, oh, okay. Right. I mean, I, yeah. Just... Um, the guy, and I, I could be totally wrong on this, but I think when the movie came out that if you, on our, one of our local news channels, I think it might have been like Fox or something, the local news, we had this guy named John Wilson, who was one of the um, hosts, one of the anchors. Uh -huh. I think his son is in that movie, and I believe his son might be the one who plays Raul. That's the other guy. Yes. Okay. The, he, he's a creeper too, but not as much of a creeper as the Phantom. Not, not, a, I don't know. I mean, in the movie, he didn't seem like too creeperish. No, but anyway. I mean, he was a little bit more like, I don't know, it went quickly. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. I am D. How about BD? Because I can't type. I don't want an account. <laughs> I just want to, like, look things look up. up. The Phantom of the Opera, the movie. In 2000. Four. It's an old movie. I saw it in. I think I saw it in the movie. Patrick theater. Wilson. Yes. I believe his father is John Wilson. Born in Norfolk, Virginia, raised in St. Pete. Because mm -hmm. um, his because the other son is and now John Franklin Wilson, a news anchor. See. Yeah. And the other son, because they did like when when the movie came out, they did stuff on like the news. They were interviewing him and stuff. Because I mean. You know, it's like your kid. Yeah, family. It's easy to get you an interview, you know, or whatever. <laughs> Pretty, you'd have to like, let me contact your agent. No, just whatever. Um, but I think that now Mark Wilson is the anchor on that channel. Um, and that is another son of John Wilson. Huh. Mm -hmm. I did not fun, know that. Fun facts right there. With Florida. <laughs> yes. Fun, yeah. Florida fun facts. Flax. Yeah. Fun Florida facts. <laughs> fun Florida facts. So um, <laughs> Sandy brought me. Because she ordered some new buttons because we were out of our little buttons. <laughs> the ones that were like that big. They were like microscopic and you could barely see our little, you know, cells. It's this one right here. Yeah. So <laughs> she sent me a message the other day and she was like, what size do I need to order? Blah, blah, blah. The size. She ordered some mirrors or whatever. And she was like, yeah. the mirror size. I was like, yeah, whatever. And then you threw out some numbers. And I thought those numbers were what you the mirror size was, honestly, when you said the 1.7 whatever. So. No, the 2 was the. Yeah, you didn't I say 2. 2 you or 1.7. 2 was the mirror. You said yeah. something mirror, and then you said 1.75. Uh, apparently, a lot of people get the two inch. Yeah, because I, we have some nice, possibly two inch, not two inch, but some oh, 1.7 or what? Maybe, maybe, or one and a half. I don't know. But anyway, so we have some new buttons for when we see people and can pass them out to advertise for our um, podcast. And <laughs> here they are. No problem seeing the logo at all anymore ever again. Um, <laughs> It's like, this is it, my palm. <laughs> it's like half the size of a palm. I know. So anyway, we do have um, these to pass out. I think that when, when we exhaust this supply, we'll probably go to a size in between the two. And we'll test we'll those out. out. Yeah. Or you'd said something, they, they have different shapes. Yeah, so they have like try squares. Square. I would like a square. Look, you can put it here and be like, see, everyone will know. It's like, vote for me. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I think that's it that I have. Yes, and that's it for me, too. Now, I think it might be a little bit uh, for several next, weeks. Yeah. Because of your schedule, which we'll know, and in... Yeah, I'm on schedule. summer break. I don't have any plans. No, you have your stuff that's going on in a week and a half. Well, I may or may not have rehearsals no. on Sundays, but I would imagine they would be more towards the evenings. And we could always record on a Saturday. But anyway. It's not even a week and a half. It's yeah. just barely over a week. It's like a week and two and a half days. Yes. I will be going on vacation for yes. a week and a half. Yeah. So end so of June, do. we'll probably record. Yeah, because I get back the, end of June. the weekend of the 16th. Yeah. So it would either be the 23rd or the 30th. Okay. So, so we'll work weeks, that one out. Whatever. So... Hopefully, I mean, it's not like we've stuff. been recording every two weeks anyway. So, well, you know, we try, we try, but yeah, life gets in the way. <laughs> anyway, so you can, though, in the meantime, you can find us on social media um, where we post things like on our Instagrams, which mine is Pearly Girl 75 and mine is Knits and Bits. Yes. 
And we also are, um, our videos are on YouTube, Two Crafty Stitches and The Crafties with a K. And we have um, our WordPress, which is twocraftystitches.wordpress.com. And our Twitter, which is also Two Crafty Stitches, because I felt like I should say that as much as possible <laughs> the last, like, minute of the episode. Yes. So. Yes. So <laughs> I think that is it. Yes. I will be very active on Instagram in just over a week. Okay. So happy crafting, everyone. <laughs> Bye.